everyone and welcome back to Lighthearted. We hope you've had a fantastic half term. I know we have, but we are ready and excited to be back and continuing with our series on Jesus' miracles. So stay tuned for a talk from Sim a little bit later on. But first of all, did someone say Fall Guys? All right, you guys ready to play some Fall Guys? Woo! Yeah! Woo, Fall Guys! Yay! Whoa, I'm a cactus! Guys, I'm so glad I fricked this one. I'm a pigeon, yay! Oh, look at him. He's a ballerina, he's got the unicorn horn, and he's got those nice, nice underpants on, and he's even got the shoes. Mate, this is gonna be great. Yes, Bridget, we all know you like pigeons. I like pigeons. All right, are we ready to start? Wait, I've never played before, what do I have to do? Great, let's get started. All right, let's go, let's go. Whew. Out of my way, peasants. Uh, ow. Hey, hey, how, how do I move? Why are there so many people? Wait, are those swinging axes? This is horrible. What is this death trap? Yay, I'm a pigeon. Hello, I'm a pigeon. <laughs> Right, we're moving slow, one step at a time. All right, okay, here we go for real. Please, 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 please! Ah. I'm a pigeon! How, how, how do I jump? What is this? Is this a giant swinging log with spikes? All right, come, come here. Yeah, I'm the wolf. Hey, get yeeted. Yeet! <laughs> Wait, can I fly? How do I fly? Bridget, this is Fall Guys, not Fly Guys. No, 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 I'm gonna try to fly. Whee! This is mad. There's holes everywhere. I keep falling. Wait, how, how do I jump over this? I keep getting knocked over by these giant fidget spinners. I'm away, Sanic. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeet! No! I was so close! What? What? Oh, I just got eliminated. Come on. Okay, I'm, I'm stuck now. What now? I don't know what to do. Great. I've been eliminated. Oh, it says I qualified. What does that mean? Wait, Bridget, you qualified? How'd you win? What? I won! Yay! You know what? Forget this game. I'm, I'm gonna go play Among Us. Well, this game is absolutely mad. Cheers. That was brilliant. <laughs> Next up, we have our talk from Sim. Hey, Lighthearted. I'm here to talk to you today about Jesus healing a blind man and what that means for us. But first, I've been practicing a really cool magic trick for you guys. Do you want to see it? Okay, let's see it. I'm going to put a blindfold on first because I've been practicing it so much that I can do it with my eyes closed. Right, lighthearted. Now, I've got my blindfold on. Are we ready? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that is my magic trick. So. I made that look really easy, but actually putting the blindfold on made it so much harder because I couldn't see anything. Now, Jesus knows that when people can't see anything, it makes things really hard for them. So he wants to heal people who can't see anything. So let's see how Jesus did it here. Let's take a closer look. So, Jesus came to this place called Bethsaida. And when he was there, some people brought a blind man to come and see him. And what Jesus did is he came up to the blind man and he took him out of the village so the other people couldn't see what he was doing. And when he was out of the village, he spat into some sand, like that. And then Jesus mixed it up and kept mixing it. And then it became sort of a, a gloop. And what Jesus did 
was he got this and he rubbed this sort of gloop onto the eyes of this person. Now, he did this and then Jesus says to the person, can you see? And the person goes, like, I can kind of see, but the people are really blurry. They're like trees. So Jesus does it again. And he mixes some more sand and water into this gloop. And then he gets it and he rubs it on the blind person's eyes. And he goes, can you see? And the blind person can then see people. And he says, yes, I can see really clearly. So then the blind person is told by Jesus not to go back into the village, but to go straight home. So he goes straight home. And the blind person can now see. So what can we take away from this story? Now, I have a couple of things that I want you to think about. OK, so first is that Jesus here like spits into the mud and then makes the sort of gloop and then rubs it on the person's eyes. And when he healed blind people, he didn't do that. This is the only time he did that. So the first thing I want you to take away is that Jesus didn't do everything the same way. Jesus had different methods for different people in different situations. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing is to be persistent because we can see even Jesus here, who is God, was persistent with how he was healing this person. This person didn't see straight away. He rubbed it on their eyes and then they went, mm, the people look a bit blurry and he did it again and he was persistent and he tried again. So what I want you to take away is to be persistent and to keep trying and trying to help people as Jesus did here. So I hope you really enjoyed that. I just want to pray really quickly. So Father, I would just want to thank you that you can do things like this and that you're really willing to heal. Um, and I just pray that we would be really persistent and keep trying and trying to help people over this next week. And I also pray that we have a really awesome week and that it is full of fun and joy. And I pray that over every single one of us. So yeah, in your name, amen. So thanks guys, let's go back to the host. Thank you, Sim, for sharing that with us. And now we're gonna go back to Sim, who's gonna lead us in a song. So make sure you do all of the actions. I was lost with a broken heart You picked me up and now I'm set apart From the ash I'm born again Forever safe in the safe hands You were more than my words could say I follow you, love, for all my days Fix my eyes, follow in your ways Forever free and unending you are, you are, you are my freedom. We lift you higher, lift you higher. Your love, your love, your love, never ending. Oh, oh, oh. you are alive in us. Nothing can take your place. You are all we need. Your love has set us free. Whoa. Shining light, breaking chains that were holding me. You sent your son down to set me free. And everything of this world will fade. I'm pressing on till I see your face. And I will live that you will be done. And I will stop till your kingdom come. For you are, you are, you are my freedom. Lift you higher, lift you higher Your love, your love, your love Never ending, whoa oh, oh, you are alive in us Nothing can take your place You are all we need Your love has set us free Oh, 
freedom we lift you higher, lift you higher. Your love, your love, your love, never ending. Oh, oh, is you are, you are, you are my freedom. We lift you higher, lift you higher. Your love, your love, your love, never ending. Oh, oh, you are alive. Nothing can take your place You are all we need Your love has set us free Whoa. Whoa. That's all we have for this week's episode of Lighthearted. We hope you've enjoyed it and we will see you next time. Same time, same place. Bye!